Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about two different points about the London. So, first point is a response to a question which I received a couple of days ago. Um, and the question uh, revolves around this line. D4, D5, um, bishop f4, knight f6, e3, the old, the old main line where white builds a pyramid, c5, black challenges the center, c3, we complete the pyramid, knight c6, now again, it's very important to play knight d2, because knight f3 will allow queen b6. And um, the question, and the point is this, and as I talked about in the last, in one of the previous videos, if white plays queen b3, black can play c4. White does not want to take, because if he takes, black takes back, he has an open line, he has an idea of b5, b4. I made a separate video of how black can exploit this. Um, and if white goes queen c2, <clears throat> black can play bishop f5 because this queen is attached to this pawn. So if queen takes bishop, queen takes pawn, and the rook falls. Uh, so let's go back. And the question which I was asked, if white plays queen c2, the best move is g6 to prepare bishop f5. But I was asked the question, why not, <clears throat> why not bishop f5 right away? Because it looks like it accomplishes the same thing. Well, bishop f5 is not quite correct. And the reason is white throws in this in-between move, pawn takes pawn. And the logic is, if black takes back with the queen right away, he doesn't attack this pawn. And so if he takes, we are free to take this bishop. So queen takes bishop. Um, <clears throat> and if my, uh, sorry, if black takes the queen first, well, now we take this queen and we are going to ruin black's pawn structure. So for example, well, black can take first here and then take. He can take right away. But if you look, this is not the greatest pawn structure in the world. Yes, there is still uh, there is still something to prove for white. White still needs to take advantage of this. But white can play knight a3. He can bring the knight to b5. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is not an issue because white can always play a3. And white is doing well. So, again, the quick point to remember... Um, that bishop f5 does not work very well after queen c2. It works because, <clears throat> because of this move. Um, it works much better if white plays queen b3 first and then plays queen c2 because now this option is not there and black is getting what he wants. Um, <clears throat> The second point which I wanted to talk about um, is I played in a chess tournament this past weekend and my point in the first round did something very, very, very interesting. I won the game, but uh, there was a little bit of struggle there. <clears throat> so I played the London d4, d5, bishop f4, knight f6. My opponent is rated a little bit over 1500 USCF. <clears throat> played the London, e3, c5, I build the pyramid, the old main line, and he played queen b6 right away. Uh, I played queen b3. Um, the point of queen b3 is if black takes, we take, we get an open line for the rook, and we are happy. Um, he pushes. I play queen c2. Now, bishop f5 is impossible here. I'll pause for a moment and see if you can figure out why. And the reason it's impossible <clears throat> is we can simply take. Because if black takes this pawn, we will checkmate. 
because this knight did not move. Um, so let's go back. My opponent played knight c6, so now bishop f5 is possible because the rook covers this square. Um, I played b3. The downside of playing c4 is white can target the spawn very quickly. If black takes, we're very, very happy because um, we get an open line, we'll play c4 at some point and gain the center, and black wasted several moves and has very little to show for it. Now, <clears throat> my opponent played very, very creatively. His name is Jason Lundheim, so um, kudos to Jason, very creative play. He gives up a pawn, he gives up a pawn, uh, computer says bishop takes his best, but I, at the moment, I thought why not take with a pawn, because I'm attacking the knight, I'm still double attacking this. <clears throat> so I took with a pawn. And now he unleashes a really cool move, knight b4, knight b4. Um, well, it's a free knight, I took it. Bishop takes. Now I don't want to blame with knight here because there will simply be too much pressure. The knight comes, the queen comes. This knight will not survive for very long. Um, knight d2 is not very good either because again, he puts a lot of pressure. If I defend bishop f5, there are ideas of discoveries. Uh, knight can take or knight can go here attacking this rook, attacking the queen. If the queen sidesteps, pawn down is a fork. Um, this is just really, really bad for white. Um, so I have to move my king, uh, which I did. Eventually I figured things out, I was able to win. But this is just something interesting to think about if you want to completely surprise your opponent with the black pieces against the London. This really cool idea of e5 and the knight b4, which is just crazy. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. More exciting material will appear soon. Please like, please subscribe. I will be back soon. Thank you.